Hello Zebraherd and welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies Heroes and today we're going to be going over some of the changes that have happened in the most recent update. Now before I get into them I have tried to make a couple decks around the changes but I haven't had much time this week to actually test them out all too much uh, so sorry if they stink. Uh, there's also been some other weird things happening. The daily challenge hasn't worked for the last couple of days at all. They actually like totally closed it down. It said like today's challenge uh, coming soon or whatever, whatever it said. Um, maybe like check back later. But as you can see, it doesn't tick those ones off for me because I literally could not play them, which I think is totally bogus. Hopefully they fix that. Maybe like we can get like free days out of it. But re regardless, like I said, there's been a ton of changes to tons of different cards and I haven't had the time to make my decks too good. So I hope you guys don't mind too much, but I want to go over the spring update. Hi heroes, we're excited to see all of the new or all of the cool new combos players are finding with the Triassic Triumph set. On with the update, card balance updates. We love having a variety of powerful cards and dynamic strategies. When some win rates get too high or low, we sometimes make balance changes to help different strategies stay strong. So they're just talking about some of these strategies and some of the decks they've changed. You can go ahead and check this out in the game yourself or pause the video. I'm just gonna go over the card changes and sort of talk about that. First off, we have Brainy for the zombies. We had the mustache monument, now uses more brains Three cost one five before is a two cost. So that's just a direct nerf. It costs more now, which actually works out, you know, pretty well because I think that a lot of people are using it with Valkyrie and that was super overpowered. But this doesn't totally fix the issue as far as I've heard. It just makes it a little bit more harder to get to. Um, we have the Regifting Zombie now costs more brains. It's a three cost, so it's basically the same exact thing as the Mustache Monument. That was a pretty nice card, so it's interesting to see it be a three cost. I'm not really sure if that's a good change or not for the card. I mean, overall, I think it is, because you still get a 3-2 zombie and some extra cards. It's just a matter of your enemy gets cards as well. The Mad Chemist is now bigger. <laughs> That's a weird way of describing it. Four cost, three, four. So before it was a two, three. I actually really like this change. I liked using the Mad Chemist, but it just seems so difficult to actually get him to the trick phase sometimes, or at least more than once. So I think this actually fits pretty well for a four cost. And then here's one of my favorite changes of the update. Neutron Imp is now better, saying when an environment is played, this does a bonus attack. This now happens when a plant environments are played too, not just when zombie environments are played. Still co two cost, two three. So the card itself hasn't had any stat changes, but the description has sort of been altered. Before, when you played an environment, the neutron imp would attack. But when an enemy played an environment, nothing would happen. So it was sort of weird because a plant card called the repeat moss will get plus one one when either the plant or zombie heroes play an environment. Why is that not, you know, the same? So they've changed that. I think that makes Neutron Imp a little bit better. And I have sort of tried to make a uh, huge Giganticus Neutron Imp deck. I feel like it definitely needs a ton more work, but I have been having fun with it. It is fun. Then we have Zombot, Zombot Dynatronic Mechasaur, which is a legendary, is now stronger. Seven cost six seven was four seven. So a legendary getting that big of a buff is a pretty big deal. It was a seven cost, so it makes sense. I haven't showcased that one yet, so I'm excited to showcase it whenever we can. Then we have the Wizard Gargantua, now correctly gives Bullseye to the Gargantua trick, Zombat Wrath. So that was more of a bug fix than it was a buff or nerf. It was the fact that it didn't give Bullseye to Gargantua's Wrath, or no, or to Zombat's Wrath, which is a pretty good one to have Bullseye on, because that's a three free damage to the hero, or six, depending on if you have a, a zombie in every lane, I think it is. Okay, that's all the brainy changes. Now moving on to the few crazy changes. Uh, Disco Knot is now less healthy. So one cost instead of two one, so that's a nerf to the Disco Knot, which usually makes everything that has three damage or less bullseye. I'm a big fan of this, because I thought the Disco Knot was a very difficult zombie to deal with, especially if you were playing a plant that just didn't have too many two damage turn one cards, it could just get really, really out of hand. So I think this is great. And then final mission now uses two brains, was one. I actually can't remember what final mission was or what card that is, so uh, I'll just have to keep that one in mind. Um, but now it uses two brains, so whatever it was, was nerfed. Um, and then Hardy, Turquoise Skull Zombie is now healthier, which is great, because I always thought that this uh, zombie was really cool, but nobody's been using him. He was just introduced with the uh, uh, Triassic Triumph, and now he's a 2-5 instead of a 2-4. I think this will help ever so slightly, because he gets plus one damage, and he takes away one sun from the enemy hero every turn, and that's pretty gosh darn good. And then the Zombie King is now stronger, four cost, three, five, was two, five. So the Zombie King is the legendary card that'll turn other zombies into the five armored five. 
uh, knights, and that's a crazy good card when it's out of, like when you can really protect it. Um, it being a little bit stronger helps, but it doesn't really make too much of a difference. It might just mean it can survive for a bit longer. It might be harder for the plant here to get rid of it, which of course is a good thing. Um, and now we're moving on the plant related changes. We got the Guardian. Marine Bean is now healthier. Three cost two, four was two, three. And I'm actually really excited about this as well. I have not really improved my Citron Bean deck, but I might still try to use it in today's episode because um, I, when the Marine Bean was first released in the Tri Triumph setup, I was like, oh, this is really awesome. I wanna try this, I feel like it could work well, but I can never get it to work. It always felt like my deck was worse off for Citron Bean setups after Triassic Triumph. So hopefully this is just a little nudge to make it ever so slightly better. And then the Red Stinger, which is a card I've never really used, is now healthier. Four cost two seven, that becomes seven two. Was a two six, that becomes six two. So the Red Stinger, when I think it gets damaged, or maybe no, it's when it's behind a plant. It's damage and health flips, which is pretty cool. And then we're moving on the plant kabloom. Only one change with transfiguration is now stronger. Four cost three seven was two seven. Not the biggest change in the world. Of course, transfiguration is a little bit of a weird card. The moment it gets damaged or any other plant gets damaged, it gets transfigured into a different plant. So it's not gonna last too long anyway, so that three damage might not even go so far. But hey, a little bit of a boost for people who use that card. And then the Mega Grow, we got a couple more changes. We got half banana is now better, saying when destroyed all bananas in your hand, get plus one, plus one. Was when destroyed all bananas in your hand, get plus one strength. Still cost one, still one cost two, two. So this got a slight buff. Um, if a banana gets destroyed um, on the field, all the bananas in your hand get plus one damage and now plus one health. I did try making a banana deck. It's awful. I have not really used it very well or set it up. I just don't think there's enough synergy for banana decks right now. I think we need more banana cards. And then there's banana split is now also better because it makes two improved half bananas. So little note there, not really any direct change to banana split. Plucky Clover is now healthier. A five cost one five instead of one four. I don't even know if Plucky Clover really needed that. It was very RNG. Of course, it would try, it would, it would draw or I guess conjure a event card, and depending on the cost of that event card would determine the amount of damage boost you get. So if you got a five cost event card, you would get plus five damage to your Plucky Clover. Already a very powerful card, but I guess it is a little expensive for one four. I don't know, I don't think it was really necessary. And then we got Savage Spinach is now stronger and better. Um, is a four cost three six leafy evolution, all plans in all lanes get, end your hand, get plus two strength, it was three five and did not affect other plants in lane, so that is way better. I could definitely see some crazy decks being set up with that. Savage Spinach is a leafy. I feel like I wanna make a leafy set up sometime soon. If you guys have any kind of cool leafy themed decks, let me know about them. And then finally for uh, Mega Girl, we have Typical Beanstalk, now it costs less sun. Before it was a five cost, which I did think was pushing it because it's like a beanstalk, but you don't have to get it through the uh, magical so beans, you can just get it by just playing it. So four cost I feel like is a lot better than five or was just really pushing being able to actually afford it. And then I think finally, yeah, it's smarty. Uh, snake grass is now stronger. Four cost four two was three two. That's pretty good because snake grass was something that I always thought was pretty advantageous but could never really use. I think four two makes it a little bit better. Um, and then finally, witch hazel is now healthier. Four cost zero three was zero one. This is awesome because I never have really thought that Witch Hazel was all that usable in a ton of situations. This makes it a lot better because even if they have something like the Engineer Butt Stomp, it's not gonna get rid of the Witch Hazel right away. That's gonna make things way easier. I honestly haven't applied this card too much because I always thought it was difficult to play. So I might try experimenting it with, with it now. So if you guys have any new decks you're trying out that are working well because of all these changes, I would love to hear about them. But for now, I figure we'll go ahead and play some ranked with my really awful decks that I've made. So first off, we have a huge Giganticus setup. Like I said, this is a Neutron Imp focused one and I feel like there's definitely some changes I could make. But as you can see, it's a bit of a mixture. It's sort of a half Imp, half environment focused setup. A little bit of a conjuring on the side. Could it be better? Absolutely. Um. I just don't really know what I wanna to change to really get it over that tipping point. But we'll go ahead, we'll play a Riot game with it and see how everything goes. Hopefully it'll be great, but there's only one way to find out and that's to play. So let's get started. <laughs> and um, I apologize if I play awful today. I'll just do what I can. So yeah, we'll try to th play three decks. We'll try to play this huge gigantic deck and then we'll move on over to, I think I have a Chomzilla banana set up. Can't quite remember at the moment. I'm pretty sure it was Chomzilla though. No, 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 it was, it was Captain Combustible. That's what it was. 
Captain Combustible Banana setup wasn't that great. And then finally, we'll just revisit one of my old Citron and Fiva Bean setup and see if it's any better with the improved uh, bean, whatever it's called. Okay, so let's see if I can't get an earlier Neutron Imp than this. But maybe, I think my big issue here is that I'm making something that's maybe a little too focused on Neutron Imp. And maybe if I just put Neutron Imp on the side, that'd be great. But what's really great about the Neutron Imp is that it totally now discourages the plant hero from playing environments, which can be really great, especially against some like hardy characters. Ones that come to my mind are Spadao and Wall Knight. They usually rely a lot on uh, environments, especially Wall Knight. I feel like it's a very environment heavy card. So it's like, I think this is awesome for people who don't like to deal with Wall Knight. Um, that is, if you can get it to a good setup. If you already have like the Barrel Imp out, that can be very good. Um, but what is she gonna do? Is she gonna do anything? Did she disconnect already? I sure hope not. But right now, like I said, it's also sort of a mixture between, um, you know, uh, imps and conjuring and environments. This, this is, this is not going anywhere. I think she disconnected. But yeah, hopefully things will work out well with this. I don't know though. I've won a couple, I've lost a couple, and I think it's a fun setup. Anything with conjuring is always fun. And we have the uh, treasure chest one cost card, which will conjure a legendary. And if you have that out while you have this guy out, it's just like even cheaper legendaries. That can be so much fun. So lots of fun stuff going on with that. It's just a matter of I gotta play the game. But hey, you know what? I, I'll take the extra stars. That's good for me. Uh. All right, a little bit farther in the, in the Diamond League, and we, hey, look at that, win five multiplayer games. I'll take those 100 gems, thank you. Okay, <laughs> that doesn't count, but I'm glad for the free win. Okay, so what do we got going on now? Looks like we're, go we're going against a much higher ranked person this time, that's fun. But I think we can make this work. And we'll just have to wait and see what our draws are before I make such a assumption. Okay, so a lot more imps this time. I feel like I've been putting this guy out because I think he's a great combo with the tra with the chest, but maybe that's foolish to think. I don't know. I'm still rethinking a lot of stuff. Um, and it's also great to like combo up with the barrel imp if we really need to get rid of something by turn two. So I want to keep that if I can. Oh, that's not bad. This guy can be fun. Of course, this is one of my favorite environments. Is this thing? Um, we're not gonna play anything just yet. I mean, I could do this conjure an environment. And everything gets down to one cost, that can be super duper helpful. I think I wanna wait until we get this dude out though. Okay, so we might actually do the barrel imp combo as soon as uh, this next turn. That might be good. So just being able to get rid of that guy and not have to you know waste too much sun for it, that sounds like a pretty good combo to me. My touch screen is, no, that's not what I did! That is clearly not what I did! My touch screen is awful. I don't like this thing. Why can't they just, can I just like plug a controller into my phone? Look at this, I'm gonna get my butt kicked now. Oh, this stinks. I mean, my best bet is, ugh, I don't wanna put this here. Like, I don't, I don't have anything for it right now. They're gonna, she's gonna play over that. Oh, that's the worst. Because I was trying to drag a card into the waterlands. Like, oh, you wanna be done with your turn? No, I didn't want that. Oh man, that is frustrating. Go ahead and do this. You're deadly, you should be able to get rid of both cards, but I'm down to 12 health already. This stinks. Why? Oh my gosh. Okay, well you're there now. It's not the biggest deal in the world. We can make this work. We'll be able to get rid of you. Your 4-4 Lima Porodon's gone. I have a shield coming up, which is great. Uh, So what's my best bet at the moment? I mean, I guess just sort of dealing with some stuff. Like that's sort of the problem now is that I'm so low on health in a situation where I really shouldn't be low on health. Just like, oh, everything would have been just fine. I don't like touch screens. <laughs> okay, freeze a zombie, that's actually not big of a deal as long as you don't attack it. Okay, great, so I'm gonna go ahead and make everything cheaper, just like that, and then we'll probably freeze that guy if we can do anything. Might be our best bet. Okay, so what do you got for me? Uh, I'm gonna hold on to that for now. Hmm. You know what, yeah, let's go ahead and freeze it. You're gonna hit me for two, but that's better than hitting me for, free, for three, right? <laughs> okay, it's something. <sighs> can we get Neutron Imp, please, please, please? Yes, okay, that's perfect. Okay, so now I can go here. I mean, he is gonna go bye-bye by the next turn, unless I put an environment over that environment, which I may. Hmm, do I wanna play you? This is damage, when this is damage, contra much damage. Oh, I think I'll save that for next time. All right, we have lots and lots of options now. 
Oh, that's not fun. Oh, that's really, really not fun. Uh, my best bet is to freeze you. Yes, freeze you. That's actually really good. Um, so you're gonna attack, you're gonna do some deadly, and then I guess we could do this, but maybe that was silly. Oh yeah, you got a lot of shield from that. That was pretty silly. I can only hope that our good friend over here yeah, okay, you landed. So you're gonna give me a card. It's gonna be one less. It's not bad, I'll take it. Um. So our new Trinum's gonna upgrade, but that's sort of fine because the Snapdragon would've gotten rid of it anyways. Bounce around the zombie, please. Let it be that new Trinum, that might be good. Yeah, okay, that's actually pretty good. <laughs> All right, so we can actually put something more worthwhile there. Or we could just put a zero cost imp if we wanted to, but I don't want to. I wanna put this here. We're gonna go ahead and I mean, I guess. Hmm. I need to save. You know what? Yeah, let's. Let's put you here because you're normally what? A three cost? Yes. So you're gonna turn into a four cost if we can keep you there and actually have you survive. Um, and then we're gonna play this environment when Julius expects it, and that'll be pretty good. I hope. Yeah, I knew she was gonna do something about it, but that's actually probably the worst thing she could have done about it. Oh, that stinks. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead. Yeah, there's not much I can do about all that. My best bet right now is to, uh, I mean, I, I might even do this instead. I think that'll be good. So we can get some extra brains next turn because we're definitely gonna put something there. But that'll get rid of you. There's no way we're getting actually rid of the melon pulp this time. Uh, okay, that didn't activate our shield, awesome. Oh, not bad. So it's gonna be a five cost though. A little on the expensive side, but that's why we have this uh, brainy nebula. It'll give us two more brains, which is pretty good. Oh man, this is looking tough right now. Oh, and you're gonna be frozen too? That does me no favors. So we're not winning right now, but the fact that it bounced back from having so little health, I think shows you how this deck can be good. Okay, so I think my best bet right now, yeah, I suppose, I mean, if I could get you here. I mean, I should have probably put you in the center lane so we can get that strike through. Yeah, would have been better, wouldn't have been. But if we can, how does this guy work? When this does damage con conjure a mustache, I think that doesn't matter what you do damage to. So having him on strike through does have some benefit. Now this guy, do one damage to each other plant and zombie when it hurt. So that's gonna say bye bye to my little uh, imp over there. But by that time, seeing how the imp is to the left of him, not a big deal, move a zombie. Oh, huh. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's really bad. Um, best thing I can do in this situation is that. Okay, um, we're gonna take five damage here, but hopefully that's the extent of what we'll take. Man, this is why I wish I had the Neutron Imp right now. That would've been great. So we can hit you like that. Can I get an environment next turn? That'd be what I really need. Um, that's something, I guess. Um, hit you, and then we're gonna do one damage to everybody else. And that's about it. Okay, that's sort of good. <laughs> it could be better too. Uh, we, we're gonna need a triple shield, won't we? We are gonna need a triple shield. Unless this conjures, what could it conjure that could help me right now? I mean, nothing really. Okay. Oh, okay, so we get to see the hazelnut. Not the hazelnut, witch hazel. <laughs> End a turn, destroy a random zombie and make a 1-1 one, one puff shroom with team up here. Oh, destroying a random zombie does not sound fun. That could turn out really bad for us. Anyways, make you deadly so that we don't have to worry about your double strike. Ooh, not bad for next turn right there. We could win this depending on what zombie she destroys and if we can activate her shield right here. Oh man, if we didn't, if we could have actually gotten a better shield there, we could have won right here. But this does what? Five damage to the hero if he gets destroyed, I think? I can't remember. I want to select him, but I can't right now. Oh no, 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 no. Come on, shield, 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 please, please, come on. Yes. Yes, okay. Um. Oh, I need the teleporter. I'm gonna go ahead and do that so we can get an extra teleport because he's not going anywhere right now, right? Okay, so which one are you gonna destroy? Yes, woohoo, we got her. Okay, that was a nice turnaround, I love it. <laughs> I can't believe we just did that. I am so happy right now. So there is that done. We got a win with this deck, who would have thought? I mean, the conjuring, of course, there is sort of like an element of RNG. We were able to defend ourselves with the Neutron Imp a little bit. It's not the perfect setup, that's for sure, but it's a fun one. And then we're gonna move on over to Captain Combustible. Like I said, I did have an awful banana deck. I mean, he already did have a banana deck. I just tried to tweak it because I don't have every card in it. I don't know what cards I was missing. 
But as you can see, it's just a lot of banana stuff. Um, it does have like a lot of repeat moss in it, which I'm like, eh. I mean, I just really don't know how to tweak this because it also has like Lily the Valley, which can be okay, but in a lot of situations, it doesn't seem to work too well for me. Um, a lot of people seem to hate that card now. I think it used to be a lot better, but then it got nerfed and people are just totally against it. If you have it in your deck at all, everyone's like, you know, you shouldn't do that. And maybe I shouldn't, but I, but it's there. Okay. We won that game. I'm so glad we won that game. That was awesome. And now, uh, we're gonna keep moving. Playing as uh, Captain Kavasabulk, a hero I admittedly don't play much of. Okay, this is Electric Boogaloo. Likely he's gonna have a Lightning Strike. So honestly, if I could use make him exhaust it now, that'd be great. Oh, this would actually be nice to play because then I could give you plus one one if you get taken out, the, uh, the Banana Bomber. Right, what's his name? Banana Launcher, okay. So are you gonna Lightning Strike that? Because that'd be a great waste of your Lightning Strike. Nope, he is not going to. It'd be funny if we could somehow give this plus one one. No, no, yep. That, this card. Oh, we got another one. Hmm. Go ahead and destroy that, be my guest. That's all I want you to do right now. Okay, that sort of stinks, but I'm gonna be able to, uh, what's it called, next turn? Oh wow, you actually didn't take it out. <laughs> okay, that's an even trade, why would you do that? Unless you have some kind of trick, you're probably gonna Lightning Strike it now. Um. Okay. Nothing. You probably have a lightning strike then. I'm gonna go ahead and like, ah, uh, that's gonna be tough to decide. I think we gotta, we gotta do something. I think we should just get rid of it. I mean, we're not doing much right now, but it's something, right? Um, I wanna save that bonus attack. If we do get a repeat moss, we're gonna wanna save that for him. Uh, oh, you're gonna get rid of it, thank you, thank you. I knew he was gonna get rid of that banana, so getting rid of him, his uh, newspaper zombie, was a fair trade. And look at that! See, that's where this gets really, really good. Um, so now, there's our repeat moss if we wanna do that, but I don't think that's what I wanna pursue just yet. I definitely wanna get these banana bombs. They're gonna be so good if we can get these set up. Hmm. So this can work. This is already better than any other game I've had with this setup so far. I've had like the worst luck. So, ooh, that's not fun to deal with, but we can make this, depending on the situation. I'm gonna go ahead and put you here if you'll let me. Uh, and then we're gonna move you right here. I really hope you don't have another lightning strike or something. We get that, which is pretty good. And then we'll just get you here. And that should be a pretty good combo with everything. Let's see what you got with your one brains. Anything? I really hope it's nothing, because this would turn out really well for me if it's nothing. Hmm, which one are you gonna destroy? Cause like that's sort of a tough spot is if he does have anything that can destroy anything, like which one is he gonna get rid of? Uh, if I was him, I would damage down the banana launcher if he had a lightning strike, but I don't think he does. So he's gonna leave it how it is, which is great for us cause we'll get a banana, banana bomb. And we have five sun. Oh, and we got this guy, which I haven't really showcased this card ever. It's the imitator. When you play a plant, this transforms into a, co a copy of that plant, which can be really, really good, uh, depending on the situation. So like I could play him and then play like the repeat moss or something crazy like that. Um, so yeah, now we sort of have to figure out what we want to do with this over there. So I could just go ahead and damage you like that so we don't have to worry about it so much. And then I could just do this guy. I mean, maybe it would have been better to repeat, or to, uh, what is this guy called again? Imitator. Yeah, like potato, imitator. I get it, so you're gonna bounce him, which honestly isn't that big of a deal. We're gonna, we're gonna get more banana bombs out of it. Um, oh, we're gonna hit you really hard too, that's great. It's funny to see the banana launcher's attack animation. That's something I don't see very often. You really are gonna go all in with getting rid of that guy. <laughs> okay, works for me. Ooh, okay. Hmm. Because what'll happen if we have two repeat mosses out is that they'll both do a bonus attack, which could be really good for us right now. I just don't know if it's really what I wanna focus on at the moment. I wish I had one more banana bomb, that'd make everything great. Hmm. Is that worthwhile? I think it is. Let's just leave this like that. Next time we'll play Repeat Moss, and then we'll do a bonus attack with a couple of things, and I feel like that would go in a really good direction. We haven't taken a single point of damage. This is our first damage taken right there. 
Uh, that's pretty crazy. So that guy's gonna get plus one one, which isn't the biggest deal in the world, but it's something. Um, so you're gonna hurt us pretty decently, but it's not the biggest deal in the world. We'll make it work. So we're gonna, oh no, but it's gonna work like that. I for, totally forgot about that. Okay, well, lesson learned. It's fine. And we get another repeat monster. We have three of these guys. I think we have too many of these dudes in our setup. I don't know what I'd replace him with though. This is where it'd be good to have two repeat monsters, right? I mean, actually I can make this work pretty well. Looking at it, we definitely can. All I'm gonna do is put a repeat moss here and actually make the banana second to the left do a bonus attack to get rid of that guy. That'll make the repeat moss attack. Very good stuff right there. All right, things are going our way a little bit. Press play, there we go. <laughs> Touch screen is still being awful. Okay, so we should be able to get him down to at least five here, for lucky three. Okay, yeah, he has like this, um. Overshoot deck going on here where you know it's just overshooting over and over again. Is that, is that what it's called when you know you hit the hero first and then you hit the plant? Probably. Ooh, this is a close to a win. Very close to a win. Who do we want to boost with this? I guess it's the best idea is to be able to get rid of this guy. Just what else is he gonna do with the rest of his brains? That's sort of the big question. Wish I had more tricks. Like if we're gonna do repeat moss, maybe I need more tricks in this setup. Like get one less repeat moss and one more trick. That might be a good balance. Hmm, actually, how much damage does he have? He only has, ooh, okay. Okay, my touch screen still really, really hates me. Um, but that should help. Um, now, the, hopefully the one banana will activate a shield and then the other, the repeat moss. Hold on. My touch screen won't work anymore. I mean, I've done everything I can do. At this point, I just have to wait for everything to time out, but geez, I don't understand. It just, sometimes it's like, I don't want to work with hooves. It's just like, come on, well, that's all I've got. I'm a zebra, come on. Okay, so that's gonna activate my shield, unfortunately, but it's sorta kind of fine. Um, Oh, sweet. We can make this work pretty well. If my touch screen could work, come on, I didn't even do anything. It won't work. I was gonna let this time out because we're still gonna win, right? I mean, maybe not. It won't work. Like, I'm, my phone's busted. <laughs> come on. What are you gonna do? Like, if it's a lightning strike, that sort of stinks, but what are you going to lightning strike? Uh, yeah, oh, it's gonna heal you for three. That actually, oh, come on. It, I would have been able to win if it wasn't for the fact that my touch screen is not working right now. That is the worst, and now it's, of course, working perfectly fine. What are you talking about? That is infuriating. Okay, so, looking at my options, like, we took a little bit more damage than I would have preferred. I have a lot of options now. I mean, I could even just, oh yeah, I could. I could just do two repeat mosses, and then just play this, and that would be good. Hmm. And then after this, we're gonna try the uh, Amphibabean deck. I mean, I don't think it's gonna be that much different. No way, really? Okay, well, actually, that's fine. I actually just won because of that. Hooray, I win. Repeat mosses, so unfair, especially, oh my gosh, Please just play the card there. I am going to like wash my phone with soap. That's not gonna help. That's actually probably gonna make this situation worse. What is happening? <laughs> Hold on. Oh my gosh, you guys have no idea how many attempts that took. I was starting to freak out because if I ran out of time there, I don't know what's happening with my phone. I just like, I don't know if the touch screen is damaged or something. Oh my gosh, I'm getting so sick of it. I've had it for like two years now. It's getting old. <laughs> Okay, well, let's go ahead and move on to the next round, but we're rank 34 now, which is pretty cool. Get some extra gems out of that. But uh, more importantly, we can move on and try some Citron fun. So yeah, nothing is too crazy here. I actually don't have the uh, bean in there right now, which I wanna change. Uh, and then we'll go for it. It's right here. Like, uh, yeah, I removed it because it just wasn't working. I'm gonna remove two of those. And then maybe even one of you. I feel like that's a little too much. Only two of you is really necessary. And then I can move back down this way and get three of you. And let's see, now that's a little bit better, it's a two, four. That's pretty good. Um, and it gets plus two damage for each other plant in the water, which can be helpful depending on the situation. And I'm hoping that situation will be helpful now. So it's just sort of about building that up to the mid game because it can get really powerful if you do it at the right time and the right chance. Like I can already have a, uh, what's it called? I can have a navy bean and I'll, um, I don't even know, like a 
lima bean, right? Or sting bean, that's what it is. Um, and that's already plus four damage to the already one four, so that'd be a five four. Like, that's crazy, that's really good. So that's kind of, kind of stuff we're trying to look out for right now. An okay setup, it's not crazy, but it'll work. Um, okay, so honestly, if he lightning strikes down a stinging bean, turn one, I don't think I have too much to worry about. That's where uh, the the jelly bean has a problem now. It used to be a 4-4, four, four. not this patch, but in a previous patch, it went down to 4-3, and now it is vulnerable to things like the, uh, the lightning strike. I mean, not as much, of course, if we can bounce something, but I don't know what our chances are of doing that right now. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. And I don't wanna use like cards like this until we get the Lima Plordon out, that'll help out a lot. I'm just waiting for an Admiral Navy Beam, but I'm not getting it. Okay, you're just gonna engineer butt stomp it. Not too surprised, a little bummed, but it happens, it happens. And then we can just put a, a little vanilla behind you. There we go, there's our Admiral. I mean, I guess for every, ooh, actually. Hmm. Okay, well, it's worth the trade. As long as we can get rid of a card like that, it's not a fun card to deal with is the uh, Environment Ninja, the Space Ninja, because uh, it'll do one damage to every plant. And that's very, I guess you could say, anti-Navy Bean. So I'm glad we could do that. <laughs> Just get rid of that guy. Then I can play an Environment over that now. Okay, so we're actually good to go to see that uh, Navy Bean, or whatever it is. You know what I mean. What is that, though? Oh, it's Marine Bean, that's what it's called. So what is that gonna be? It's probably gonna be a Lightning Strike. Oh, really? Okay. Wasn't expecting that. Now, I do have an environment that's a swamp. I don't think that counts for the marine bean, but man, it would be cool if it did. And there's gonna play something over that. Well, that's just fun. I don't know if he like pressed the wrong one like I was having that problem last game. The fact that you're not doing anything is making me suspicious. Maybe we should heal you up a little bit so that at least it's not an engineer butt stomp. And then we can just put an environment over your environment again. No environment for us, sir. There's no way, yeah, there's no way he has his signature if he just uses electricity. How many environments do you have? I guess as many as I do, plus one. Jeez. Okay, well we might as well play that. Like, I, I'm not getting good draws right now. This is all jumbled. Like, I might end up just getting this guy lightning struck down right here. Oh, I was hoping for at least like one hit. That would've been great. At least we've had them, yep, there it goes, come on. What is this game so far? This is a mess. All right, well, we're just gonna leave it like that, I guess. Yep. <laughs> weird, very, very weird. Okay, so now we got you. Immediately after playing that uh, magical soap beans, I guess it's something. Yeah, we're not gonna let you get too far. We're gonna play this, let's see what we draw from that. Another one, nice, so we're gonna go ahead and put you over here. Now it's worth considering playing this, drawing a card. Or maybe not, I could just hold on. Oh, you actually do have six damage though, so that's not fun. Oh, but I have an environment for you if you're willing to stay tuned. Okay, so that's gonna be very good if we can play that at the right time. Mm -mm -mm, that's gonna be great, put this here. Um, so it looks like we might not actually be able to try the Marine Bean, but if we need a backup strat, it's always worth just playing this guy over the Sting Bean. Um, that way he's in the water lane, he's harder to get to. That sort of stinks, but it's not the biggest deal in the world once he realized. Well, actually, no, that got, totally got rid of him. What the heck? Okay, that is awful. Okay, we can maybe make something work here. Not exactly how I wanted it to, but it's something. We'll go ahead and make you get bounced. That's pretty good. Hmm. And with eight brains, what tricks are you gonna have? You might have the destroy a plant. All right. I mean, it's not the worst trade in the world, I guess. I'm gonna hit you for four. You're down to nine health now, and we'll be able to hit you again for something. Okay, so I have a couple of options here, and I'm just trying to figure out which, like, which one's the best one. Because for me, if he doesn't have any tricks to respond, I just won. Yeah, I just won, unless he has some tricks to get rid of this. Like, he might just have, oh, oh, he won't have five brains. Like, if he had the five brains for another Locust Worm, he might have, like, the piano. Zombies, okay, he's gonna get rid of it. That's fine, we're still hitting him for five. He's gonna be down to four health. How many, man, half of his plays have been environments. He has a ton of them. I didn't know Electric Brooklyn had that access to that many environments. Okay, so we get another one of these, which is great. At this point, I'm definitely overwhelming the guy, though. We could definitely win this. It would be awesome 
if we could win all three games today, I mean, should I go for the win or should I go for protecting myself? Probably should have went for protecting myself. Well, that's something, I guess. Uh, maybe that was a silly idea. I could have saved that for next turn, but I also don't want to take that much damage. Ooh, here we go, here we go. Sure, why not? <laughs> this is a Galactic Gardens card, huh? Yeah, it is, I totally forgot. Well, it works if we can just get a lucky land on the first uh, Magic Beanstalk or something to da two damage. Actually, that's not gonna get rid of anybody. Unless you have another one of those. Uh, you're gonna get rid of a damage plant. That's not a big deal. If I could just get another bean card or something, that'd be great. That's gonna hit you for four. What are you gonna get? I don't know, my phone's liking out. One, one backup dancers. Please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't. Come on! You one spot, I need it not to be. So close to winning this, they better not turn it around on me. If I could, I should have just saved that Admiral Navy Bean, shouldn't I have? Okay, well that'll up my shield a little bit. Yep, that's, that's not something I wanna complain about at this point. Okay, so we can draw an extra card from this. If he plays something with a gravestone, I do not draw an extra card. I thought I did. No, I guess it's bouncing a gravestone. Well, that's not a gravestone card. Uh, he could still most definitely win this. If I don't get, oh. Yeah, I could definitely still lose this. We're not out of the woods just yet. Come on, come on, come on. Ready, set, play this. What do we get as a card? This is still, oh, this doesn't draw a card anymore. Yeah, the bean deck still is worse than it used to be. It's just not as good. That's a shame too, because it was a really fun deck before. I mean, it's still a good deck. You just need to not get colossally unlucky like I have been getting. I mean, I also played badly. That's a big part of it. Hopefully I can get another shield activation. I can transmorgify one person. I guess I'm transmorgifying you. Uh, you're still gonna be the guy who hits the hardest here, even though, yeah, I'm probably not winning this, but we'll have to see. Like I could get very close to pending. Okay, well that's not gonna be too helpful. Yeah, I don't see how I could win this right now. <laughs> yep, I just lost. Jeez, that was just like so unlucky. I got awful draws there. But I won the first two games, so I can't complain too much. Shouldn't have played the Admiral Navy Bean. Maybe I could have gotten a win out of this if I saved it, but probably not. Anyways, boom, we lose. GG, we won two out of three games. The one I was expecting to win the most was this one, is the funny thing. Cause this is the one that actually has a deck that's actually usable most of the time, and that's the one I lost. Weird stuff, but hey, there we go. We showcased some of the new changes that happened in this update. I wanna hear your thoughts on it though. What are your thoughts on some of the changes of PBZ Heroes recently? Do you think they're good or bad? Do you think there should be new changes? Do you think changes shouldn't have happened? All that kind of stuff, and also let me know your new strategies that might be related to these changes. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies Heroes. If you want to support the video, make sure you comment Banana Zebra so you have watched the end of that you are a zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the zebra herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.